If you're anything like me, playing in church was and still is a huge part of my development as a drummer and an overall musician. Every opportunity that I've had in my career can be traced back to some connection that I made playing for a church service or event. I encourage anyone who is open to it to get linked in with a local church and play as much as you can. Various churches often come to me and ask me to teach their up and coming drummers and help them learn songs for different events. After a few years of doing this, I've noticed a few different trends, a few grooves and rhythms that consistently show up in popular church songs today. There are five general grooves that I believe every church drummer needs to have under their belt. We're going to dive into that today, so let's break it down. All right, two things before we get started. First, each one of these grooves that I show you is just a starting point. There are so many different variations and nuances, and I encourage you to really take the time out to listen to different songs and take note to how each drummer approaches these grooves. The more music you take in, the more ideas you'll have in your toolbox to pull from. Secondly, I put these grooves in the order that I believe they should be learned. You'll notice as we go along that a lot of the same rhythms and concepts show up over and over again. If you learn these grooves in the order that I list, you'll see that each groove will set you up to learn the next one. So let's jump into it. All right, the first groove is four on the floor. Four on the floor is a simple but powerful groove. The most important element to this is the kick drum being played on all the quarter notes. Take note of this because this is one of those things that's going to pop up over and over again later. The kick drum lays on the floor and there are four quarter notes in the measure, so you get the name four on the floor. The snare drum is usually played on the two and the four or on just the four and then eighth notes or sixteenth notes are usually played on the hi-hat. The hi-hat is where all the magic happens though. The hi-hat plays a huge role in the motion and the feeling of a groove. Playing the hi-hat closed tightly with the tip of the stick will give you a more subdued R&B kind of vibe. Playing a looser hi-hat with the shaft of the stick will give you a more energetic and rock vibe. You can accent the quarter notes on the hi-hat for one kind of feel and then completely change the feel by switching the accents to the ands of the beat. You can also play two-handed 16th notes on the hi-hat as well and there are a ton of accent possibilities with that one. The options are literally endless. If you want to get a master class on how to play the hi-hat effectively, I recommend you check out Paul Mabry's YouTube channel. That joker is a beast. All right, next up is the tom groove. The tom groove is by far the most used groove in church music today, and there are tons of variations to this groove. But the main element that stays consistent in almost every tom groove is again steady quarter notes on the kick drum. This provides a solid foundation to build on. There are three common tom groove variations that I've noticed. The first one is what I like to call the Bo Diddley tom groove. Think about the song Born to Hand Jive from the movie Grease or Faith by George Michaels and you'll hear the Bo Diddley beat in action. This beat is based off of the 3-2 Latin clave rhythm and you'll need to get really, really comfortable with this because it's going to show up over and over again. It sounds like this. In this groove, the Bo Diddley beat is accented between the floor tom and the rack tom, and then the kick is played on all the quarter notes, and the snare is played on beat number four.
All right, the next variation is what I like to call the kind of Bo Diddley time groove minus the snare. This groove uses the first three notes of the Bo Diddley beat and then uses crescendos around the tom toms to fill in the remaining beats, but the snare is never hit. This groove is usually played on slower songs or sections of songs that want to have a nice pulse but doesn't need the drive and energy that a consistent backbeat will give you. The kick is usually played on quarter notes or on just the first beat of the measure if the energy needs to be dropped down even further. All right, lastly, we have the driving tom groove. And this is basically a four on the floor groove with kick on the quarter notes again, and two and four on the snare drum. But the biggest difference is that the eighth notes that you usually play on the hi-hat is going to be switched over to the floor tom. You can also use your snare drum hand to add in a few embellishments as well, as long as you get back to the snare drum on beats two and four. This groove is usually used when you need maximum drive and energy. Okay, the third common groove you'll need to know is, wait for it, the Bo Diddley Rock Groove. You basically play the Bo Diddley Groove on the kick drum while playing two and four on the snare drum and eighth notes on the hi-hat. The trickiest thing about this though is keeping the hi-hat consistent while playing this bass drum part. If you notice, every kick drum hit falls in line with the hi-hat except for the second one that falls on the of one. If you're not careful, your hi-hat hand will want to chase after that kick drum hit and this will really throw off the feel of the groove. If you have trouble with this, try playing eighth notes on your hi-hat while counting 16th notes out loud. Your hands should be hitting the hi-hat on the numbers and the ands, and then coming up One, on the e's and e, the uhs. And, uh, two, e, and, uh, three, e, and, uh, four, e, and, uh. Play your kick drum every time you say the word, uh. This means that your hi-hat hand will be going up as your foot goes down to play the kick. Add the snare drum on two and four when you get comfortable with this. One, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, three, E, and, uh, four, E, and, uh, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, Three, E, and, uh, four, E, and, uh. Do this a few times and then go back and play the Bo Diddley rock groove a few times. You should have a lot easier time keeping your hi-hat steady. All right, next is the military march groove. This groove is based around, you guessed it, quarter notes on the kick drum and the first half of that Bo Diddley beat. The only difference is that you're going to be playing everything on the snare drum. The basic groove usually consists of 16th notes on the snare drum with accents on the one, the of one, the and of two, and the four. It's really important that you get control over your hands and make sure that your accents are nice and loud and all the other notes are played quiet and evenly. Dynamics are super important. If you wanna add a little more spice to this groove, you can add a few rolls and crescendos in between the accents as well.
All right, and the last groove that every drummer needs to know is the 6-8 groove. The 6-8 groove is one that finds its way in the mix all the time. You can hear variations of this groove on songs like Chris Tomlin's Good Good Father or Elevation Worship song Graves in the Gardens. The 6-8 groove is different from most of the other grooves that we normally play because it's based off of six counts instead of the usual four. It's really easy to get the hang of though. All you have to do is count to six, play your bass drum on beat one, the snare drum on beat four, and then hit the hi-hat on every number. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 A common variation of this groove is a two measure pattern where the first measure is exactly what we just went over, but the second measure adds an extra bass drum hit on the and of two. If you were to count it out loud, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, four, five, six.